Okay, so we have one final surprise for Chantel. She doesn't know about it yet. It's a secret. So Chantel has been talking about the movie The Meg nonstop for weeks. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a movie about a giant shark, a megalodon, uh, who is attacking people. We are trying to get her into the premiere of The Meg. Yeah. Red carpets and We're still working out the details. We're gonna tell her tomorrow, but that's gonna be the big finale. The big finale. The piece de resistance. <laughs> right. oh, 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 oh. oh, here he goes. <laughs> it's Chantel's birthday video. It is. Shh, shh, shh. So we're here in front of her apartment. Chantel's our like most introverted, beloved homebody in Ladylike. Mm -hmm. And instead of trying to drag her out to do all these things in LA for her birthday, we decided to bring the things to her yes. today. So yeah. she can stay in her home in her PJs. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we didn't bring is our lovely friend Kristen, who's in Hawaii. Yes. Yeah, we're really excited. We have a whole fun-filled day planned for Chantel. It involves furry friends. Mm. It involves some of her favorite foods. Luxury. 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 Lots of things to come. Yeah. She's gonna be so excited. Yeah. Chantel loves her condo. She does. So don't leave it. So Chantel loves sharks, and I wanted to get her next level shark decoration. So in third grade, I loved sharks so much that I had a shark-themed birthday party. My mom made shark-themed goodie bags. We had a cake that was in the shape of a shark. Sharks are huge, huge part of my life. All the cool kids have shark birthday parties, right? So I ordered this online. It also is remote control, so you can maneuver it around. It says ages six and up, but uh, the instructions look pretty complicated, and I'm hoping that I can figure it out tonight so that Chantel can get the full experience for her birthday tomorrow. So here's Mr. Shark, and here are the pieces that I need to figure out what to do with. I think I'm in over my head. For the life of me, I can't figure out how to stick these fins into this thing. They don't seem to fit. They fit in the f***ing drawing, but they don't fit here. Now at least he has some fins. He's got his little arms and his other fin. I think I've finally done it. It's floating. Oh, look. Oh, he's swimming. I declare this good enough. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Dad. So good news for you. You can, like, chill at your house for a bit. Uh, we probably won't need you until like 11-ish. Does that stress you out? No. Uh, we're just a little unorganized this morning. Okay, so a little snafu in the plans. Uh, Chantel's apartment has a gate and we don't know the code. So now we're just outside. If it worse comes to worse, we'll just, uh, you know, put Jen on her shoulders and she can climb the fence. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. Thank you. Jen. This is, this is so sexy. That was so sexy. Instead of going anywhere, we thought because you love your home so much, you love my home. <laughs> we'd bring the party to you. See Yay! How we this is great news. Did you have any idea? I thought maybe because when you were like, "We're running late," are you stressed out? And I was like, "No." <laughs> no. I overdid it. Oh yeah, okay. this is great. I love not going anywhere. So we have bagels. Oh my goodness. Bagels. Chantel, I got two everything, two cheese, two sesame, one jalapeno, and this one we're gonna have to share because I know everybody's gonna want it. I got one pizza bagel. <laughs> Brecky is my hero meal of the day, uh -huh. so I will indulge. Do you like bagels, Chantel? Yes. So Chantel, I know you're eating this bagel right now, yeah. but uh, you're gonna have to consume quickly because we have another surprise for you. What okay. Do you think, what do you think it is? I don't know. I have no idea. It's weird being on this side of things with having so many people know what's going on, but I'm the only one not knowing what's Some happening. of us don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> a wonderful woman from Soothe is coming to give you a massage. Yes! Mm -hmm. Are you tight? Always. <laughs> <laughs> Are you stressed out? Yeah. <laughs> not ready for a massage. Is anyone ever not ready for a massage? Hey, James. Oh, James. James. No, James, buddy, get off. Hi. Hi. Oh my goodness, amazing. Is that a 
robe. I love robes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Iman and I work with Soothe. And today I will be giving a luxurious on-demand massage. And I hope you enjoy. Happy birthday, Chantel. She loves the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 there. Enough for you. Hi, buddy. He's so cute. So I think that this is where I go. No, enough for you. No, no. And thank you. <laughs> no. He wants what I want. <laughs> this is everything I've ever wanted. So I've been gifted this box of massage goodies from Soothe. These black bottles look so fancy. Lavender! <laughs> lavender is my favorite scent in this entire world. And lavender room spray and body spray. Yes! Gee, oh, hi. He sees a box. He loves boxes. <laughs> this is excellent. This is also my life. When luxury and motherhood converge. There you go, James. Now it's all for you. Like everything else in this house. Okay, now he's entertained. See you in a bit, Chantel. Thank you, bye. I feel like we're just gonna have so many cutaways to James. This is actually, video. this is the James show. This is the James show. So we've got the shark into Chantel's house. Uh, I had to reconstruct it a little bit. Basically, it's a balancing act of, there's a certain number of quarters that I've put inside this weight to like weight them down. This is the most stressed I've seen you. It's fine, everything's fine. The things I do for Chantel. Chantel, darling, whenever you're ready to come out, you just come out. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Meet your new friend. I love it! He swims in the air. He swims? Yeah. Of course he does. What? He can wag his tail. Look at the little tail. <laughs> this is so fun. I want to take him out on the open ocean. <laughs> I love that I'm just still in my room. And this is what normal 27 year olds do, right? This is so silly. Where's James? What does he think of it? He's hiding at the moment. We don't know where he is. Oh, so during the massage, somehow James managed to slip out of the house, which is not what we wanted. So there are a bunch of us looking for a cat now. Oh, God, I really hope we find him soon. Welcome here. Welcome to the show. We just found the cat. Where? On top of the fridge. I'm so mad. <laughs> are you serious? I'm so. We were just like, we how long has it been? How long have we been looking for this cat? We've been looking for this cat for the last 15 minutes. Yeah. And I was just like, I've ruined Chantel's birthday video. <laughs> I lost her cat. She's gonna hate me forever. And it's hot. We've all just been it's outside. Like 90 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> he got stuck? Yeah, he's not coming now. I think he's stuck. Oh so no. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm here oh to... Oh my god, what? No, he's, he's oh, on top of the dryer. On top of the... Okay, you, you came out. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, buddy. oh no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I know, see this is the thing. <laughs> he like doesn't really like trees, he just likes hearing stuff shaking. Hi, Hi. Want, we love the boxes. Well at least we know he's in the apartment. I yeah. know, my god. Chantel, are you stressed now? Oh, <laughs> yes, now he <laughs> another massage. He's never gone back there and he's he's stuck. He's stuck. My help. <laughs> James from You can stay up there, space, buddy. But he's now there up you go. here. Alright, so now back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> In the middle of cat search 2K18. Yeah. Tamanda K! Tamanda! Yay, Tamanda! She was searching for James in the parking lot. And oh, uh, he wasn't there. I had a hunch that he would be in the apartment. One way or another, James was gonna figure out how to make this day about him. Yeah. But anyway, we have <laughs> he did. a delicious lunch <laughs> being prepared for you. I can smell it, I can hear it. This looks exquisite. Also, we know that you love the idea of a personal chef. I do. So that's why this is a part of your birthday day. And I've always said when I make it big, that's the first thing I'm hiring. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we Let's eat? Let's down. eat. Is there a Caesar? You betcha. <laughs> My name is Diana Hernandez Brisco. I've been a chef for 18 years. I'm from Colombia, Bogota, and I love food. I come today to cook for Chantel for her birthday, and I want to do a really special, we love a special lunch for her. It's going to be a vegetarian meal, 
So let's see what we have for today. Thank you, Fred. Oh, my pleasure. It's a hefty. Oh yeah. A hefty pour. Oh yeah. Well, for the special lunch, we have a Caesar salad. It has to be vegetarian dressing, so we don't use anchovies, really important. We have watermelon with feta cheese and mint, and a little balsamic glaze. And also, we have this vegan uh, avocado toast with fresh heirloom tomatoes, cilantro, and onions. Oh my god. The spring rolls is kind of a vegan or vegetarian option that we can have with these beautiful colors of cabbage, uh, bell peppers, uh, carrots, celery, onions and the pine sauce is really nice and soft and mild. So enjoy it. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. You're welcome. De nada, mucho gusto. These are literally all my favorite flavors. I love spring rolls, love peanut sauce, love cottos, love Caesar salad and feta and balsamic glaze. How can you go wrong? You can't. Yeah, I'm gonna put that right there on oh. top. Yes. The Caesar dressing is so good. Is it? Is it zesty? You don't miss the anchovies at all. See, that's the thing with veg food. People think you gotta miss out. You really don't. <laughs> oh, I wanna get some of the Caesar. Mm. There are some noises that are being made. <laughs> wow. Veggies, veggies. Oh my yes. gosh. So basically, we have cavatelli pasta, primavera, snappies, chichito peppers that now we are in season, edamame, and cauliflower. So the combination looks really nice and delicious. You literally just whipped all of this up. Since you've been here? Yes. What? It takes me three hours to make spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Vodka sauce is my favorite pasta sauce in the world. It is also the only pasta sauce that I ever make. I'm not a bad cook, I just don't like, like cooking. It. Okay, ladies, happy birthday. <laughs> wow, thank you. This is beautiful. Is this oh my meringue? Gosh. It's Pavlova. Oh. Yes, I just saw this on a baking show that I was watching. <laughs> Literally last week. Oh my God, I know I'm eating it. That lunch was amazing. And like Diana said, she made it with love. And I really felt that. Yeah, it's just like everything was so beautiful. It was so fresh and it tasted delicious. This now just like solidified its way into my bucket list. Cause I was always like, that would be something that would be fun. And now I'm like, this is something that is necessary and needs to happen in my life. We're gonna head outside now okay. uh, for the next part. You've got your little Burks on. I got my Burks on. <laughs> Remember when we thought the cat was out here? Sure do. Oh god. Are there cats in there? Uh -huh. Oh my god, there's cats in there! I wanted to see animals so bad. Aside from James and I love him. How is this a thing? They just travel with cats? Couldn't have your birthday without animals. No! This is beautiful! I'm Janet Pau. I'm the founder of Moon Cat Cafe, which is, as far as I know, the world's first mobile cat cafe. What I do is I travel around LA and Orange counties. Kittens like Mocha Latte here are rescued by our partner today, uh, Michelle, who's the president of Milo Sanctuary. They've been rescuing special needs cats in LA for 14 years now. So that kittens like Mocha Latte can find their forever home. Wow, oh, that's so special. And all the kittens that we have on board today from Milo Sanctuary are all adopted. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Don't tell me that. James needs a sister. Like James doesn't his need a sister. Oh, God. I brought uh, organic green tea, cold brew, and also a special birthday cake that was made complimentary for you. Oh, oh James. Uh, it's a shark cake? Yeah. I haven't had one since third grade. Oh. Actually, our bakery partner, Cafe Republic, which is based in Cerritos, is also female minority founded, and she baked this cake um, when she heard that you were a shark fan. What a, what a gorgeous cake. Such gorgeous. gorgeous food, gorgeous desserts, gorgeous kittens. I want to sanitize and enter into the kitty sanctuary. Hey, Mocha. She needs a mocha latte. I do. <laughs> Mocha's your kind of cat, Fred. Yes. Fred, you need to like, Let's see. Chantal, Fred, and I are like diving straight in, but uh, Jen's actually outside because she's allergic to cats. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. This time I'm gonna get your earrings. <laughs> Play. Chantel. We got, we got some treats for you. All right, happy birthday, Chantel. This is a cat themed gift put together by the Ladylike team and Mooncat Cafe. Oh, thank you. 
And all the gifts are made by independent female artists, which is something that I really, I've supported from the beginning. I love that. That's so cool. Oh my God, yes, James is a feminist. A little sponge. This will be how we clean his bowls. Oh! That's so cute. That's for your scotch. <laughs> my scotch on the rocks. My new favorite glass. Thank wow, you, thank no, you, Janet. Thank you guys for inviting us out and Michelle from Milo Sanctuary. Well, the Cat Cafe was absolutely incredible, but we're gonna head back into the AC. So Shanti, we've been in your space all day. Uh-huh. <laughs> Freddy, Freddy, come on out. Freddy, come on Michelle, out. Here? Come on out. It's Freddy! Happy birthday oh. to you. It's Olive! Happy birthday to you. And your final gift is you have to eat all of these olives in right five now. Five seconds. <laughs> Go. <laughs> so we wanted to get you a gourmet olive tasting. But I love this. <laughs> I love today. I love today. <laughs> I love birthday. <laughs> this is also a great palate cleanser for after cake. Okay, so as is the ladylike tradition, uh -huh. we are all gonna go around and talk mm. about our favorite thing about Chantel. This is embarrassing. What? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be nice to you for 20 minutes, you f***ing man up and take it. <laughs> Chantel, what I love about you, I love that you are, at all times, very like level-headed mm -hmm. and calm, mm -hmm. and, but you still have the ability to get shit done, mm -hmm. which is like an amazing balance, and it's something that I try to learn from every day. <laughs> what I want for you in the next year, you're like really, truly leaning into your ultimate goals, of directing and creating more content and doing what you truly love. I just want you to just keep winning awards. Mm -hmm. You are an inspiration. Well, okay. Yeah, you are. Uh, Chantal, I would say you really are one of the best communicators I know, which is like a very admirable skill. Also, you're one of the people that at work, when people are having problems, even if they don't know you very well, I'm like, you know you should talk to? I'm like, you should talk to Chantel. Because <laughs> <laughs> she will know how to communicate. One thing I think that I really want for you in the next year is honestly I feel like you just need more power and I, I know you're gonna get it because you're a very hard worker mm -hmm. so I want that for you but it's like it's gonna happen I love that you're so silly I don't think that's what a lot of people know about you you always seem to catch my eye when uh, things are trending towards ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> and you just make me As laugh. they often do. They do. <laughs> you're also insanely funny you always you're very dry and you have like really funny one-liners that just come out, and when you're not around, it's lonely without you. Aww. <laughs> oh my god, Dad! That's so sweet. <laughs> it is really lonely. Yeah. What I want for you for the next year is another baby. Another Jame. Oh, okay. What? Another, <laughs> I was like, yo, hold up. No, 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 no. Another, another son, another daughter, uh. another babes. I was not expecting you to say that. I don't know, maybe get a horse. I don't know, oh. I'll just spitball in here. <laughs> yeah, get a horse. And yeah, a horse. it can sit right here next <laughs> to me. Should we do a cheer, an olive cheer? Yeah, olive everyone, cheer. Grab, cheer. everyone grab their favorite. Sure. I thought it was gonna grab the jars. I and everybody just, just drink from the jar. Yeah. <laughs> Shot! Shanti! Shanti! Thank you! For you! For ye! Right now? Right now. Oh my goodness. Invited to the premiere of the Meg Monday night. Even a guest, red carpet. Red carpet. Red carpet. The premiere of the night. <laughs> Wear your finest gown. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! I am so excited. I was like almost about to buy like premiere tickets for myself. <laughs> so I was like, I have to be there opening night. Oh, and then we'll be there four days before. Yeah. Because it comes out on August 10th and I'm thinking out on August 6th. <laughs> now that I'm counting it down. <laughs> I can't even fake this excitement. Like I'm kind of shaking. <laughs> so we're about to go see the Meg. And I'm so excited. I'm wearing an oceanic themed dress. That I also wore to Kristen's oceanic themed dinner at her birthday in Vegas. I made it in. This is really happening. And apparently it is in 3D. My God, y'all, that was awesome. We saw so many sharks. This bag was like 75 feet long, which I don't know is realistic, but you know, we're gonna give it a pass. 